okay just a second you know say for subscribe now free plenty of people already watch here they know they subscribe because someone free say for subscribe they need for pay money if you not be known for no now say for subscribe now free but why for subscribe if for subscribe for three main reason number one you go be the first person we go know whenever we come on live. Number two, you go be the first person we go know whenever we upload new video. And number three, you go be the first person for comments, like or share. And the last one are for support we so we go bring kind and content here regularly to you. So you see how it's beneficial to you. So if you know don't subscribe it, what you do it? I for subscribe to TPP Leo now. And before I forget, not forget for click the notification bell so you go get all the notification bam. We're launching our website very, very soon. So People will get opportunity for go back, search in the website, apply through the website. So how soon will we see that happen? Before the end of this month, because the celebration itself, the final day. Now the time for we studio clock and we tell on the island the program. This is road safety week and at the program this morning we can't talk about issues them. We get for doing through safety and waiting and waiting and salary said do for observe this week because salon they join other cons get them now the world for member this day this week. And we will introduce Alia Tona, we studio guest, we are the deputy director na SLRC, we na James Bagibio. And they are this morning for Alright, yeah. so let we just start for no waiting, waiting on the happen before the road safety week where they can look at because the road safety this part in force. So we be done to educate the people. For example, last year December when I see say we be try for do something where I think say the city is maybe applaud we for that day. We be try for decongest the city areas and they will be see say abandoned vehicles and be there. We be they cause traffic na the city. We be try for remove them motor car then because most of the bypass then will be realized say them block block. So what thing we do, we remove all them vehicles then from the road. And also garages then we realize say they are street then they will we see say um garages then they we can go and remove them vehicles and they but it's really challenging. We know the society where we they people always not they comply with law, so we can get challenged in that particular area. As I earlier on said said, SLRS say no get the power for arrest. Did they get me? We can only enforce and issue tickets to people. But in the cause of that, if we see say we they get strong resistance from the public, sometimes the police then can intervene. But we limit in a particular area. So now we look at the uh, ambassador colleague ask you about the success of the operations there. So you still see garages and most of them garages there. So they operate, in, in fact, very close to the streets, especially in this western area and uh, even the new road in the construct what's in the permission we wanna they give for make somebody operates garage in a sideway in fact in august structure so for example before we issue certificate to anybody um, for making you operate as a garage we get for goal for to go look at the particular facility let us see whether it ideal for making open garage but most of these garage that we they talk about now like illegal garages and they talk about so whenever they can come to we attention we can send out with people and they can go they can close their garage and just like i said they say you know really easy when it comes to enforcement of the country like if you can recall when we try for um sanitize the central business district uh, central business district um in 2021 when i see what can happen the bike riders and then go now with office then vandalize some of the office and destroy the properties so we self we get challenged in that area so we serve as a um authority we can the pray say or we can the we say when we are doing platform the owner say we for the help for the calling different different partners and what we work with for making the talk to the general membership for try for the law abiding so in terms of compliance, how best to not only work with um, line agencies and other authorities them for ensure say compliance really take place for less sanity than at the road? We don't need engage a different leadership of them different organizations them. At different time we don't need engage them. They can come, we get meeting with them, we tell them the authority in position, but when they go back we realize that there is a communication gap between them with the membership. Because most of this message and when we can give them where they go down there, they're not able for disseminating um, messages. And so they realize say, there is no control when it comes to the membership. So they realize say, whenever we they go out for go do work, we they get a concern because control not there over most of them um, um, bike riders, um, drivers, then on that, then different, different institutions. Then. So in terms of um, 
safety. How you go describe the road then a salon? We safe, we road and safe. I'm not going to say um, totally we roads they're not safe because um, most of the roads then they're still they're not able to do them yet in the country. However, government they try in that area for try for do some free. But there is no road sign where they show say person of a park vehicle. Naya. So we they get challenged in that particular area. When it comes to road signage, not to Radio Shalom. Radio Shalom 89.5 na Kwenadugu and Falaba districts. We also the live on Radio Malen 88.5, Radio 1G 101.3, Voice of Masoro 90.5, all from Pujan district, and also in a court now because of the objections them we can come out from lawyer them during political case here in them na courts. We talk this we the accountability. We call and then partner them go all. Aye. The Chief Justice Desmond Babatunde Edwards talk this way the accountability and rule of law call go pull the review of the administration of electoral justice in Sierra Leone challenge and opportunities for reforms. We 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 this report they talk about government efforts for address the challenge them. For case them, not court them. Well, for more on this, we join Cherno Jalo. I'm pleased to present this report by Carl, which is entitled a Review of Administration of Electoral Justice in Sierra Leone. It's a long title. Challenges and opportunities for reform. <laughs> that the voice of the Irish Ambassador Nassalon, Salon, Claire Buckley, will be the officially present while the court will call. Do on the justice system in Salon. When the top for Sika, this report, Ibrahim Tommy, whether the executive director for the Centre for Accountability and Rule of Law say this report will help strengthen the electoral process and build democracy in the country. Carl has produced this report, which is, which is titled Strengthening Governance and Accountability Processes in Sierra Leone, a review of the administration of electoral justice in Sierra Leone, challenges and opportunities for reforms. Now, the broad objective of this study is to provide an assessment of the legal and structural environment for the effective administration of electoral justice in Sierra Leone. The study has actually assessed the capacity of existing electoral justice mechanisms, and we have also made recommendations for reforms that we hope may expand their opportunities for addressing electoral justice challenges or electoral justice disputes in Sierra Leone. Electoral justice has a fundamental role in the continual process of democratization and serves as a catalyst for the transition from the use of violence as a means of resolving political conflict to the use of lawful means to arrive at a fair solution and outcome. The strengthening governance and accountability in Sierra Leone report where IGR and CALDO come as a result of the support by the Irish government with this make Insia Yun talk. The Irish ambassador in Salon, Claire Buckley, being first begin for talk about the reason for their support for the kind of report here. We believe that a structured, independent and specialised impartial electoral justice mechanism is a cornerstone of electoral integrity. Political contestants should have access to a fair, efficient and effective legal redress rather than resorting to extrajudicial measures including violence. And in ensuring this, access to justice is key. Mechanisms and structures must guarantee equal protection of the law for everyone and process claims in a reasonable time and do so with independence and impartiality. It's also important to expand the spectrum of electoral remedies when courts are overstretched. Alternative electoral dispute mechanisms and institutions that, that have the citizens' tr trust should provide possibilities for electoral disputes to be addressed through arbitration, conciliation and mediation. And continue to say for make the country able for achieve all length in here. Different institutions then get important role for play. And so we believe that the Human Rights Commission of, of Sierra Leone the Independent Commission for Peace and National Cohesion, the PPRC, the Interreligious Council and other relevant institutions are vital in this regard. And so the report that we share today, it's part of Ireland's overall support to the conduct of peaceful, credible and inclusive elections in 2023. And as we've heard, the report broadly assesses the legal and structural environment for the effective administration of electoral justice in and outside the courts. And it's our hope that this work will support ongoing work in the justice sector to strengthen that system to resolve electoral contestations inside and outside the courts. We in self be the talk on what and think about this report and what in government for do for continue for open the democratic space. The Secretary General and the Interreligious Council, Reverend Jesse Fona, 
They encourage institutions them for adopt all the recommendations them where they said this report. In all democracies, electoral justice plays a decisive role in ensuring the stability of the political system and adherence to the legal framework. The Interreligious Council as moral guarantors and guarantors of morals of the peace of this country, we are very much concerned about the peace and stability in every political party of this country and in the democratic process. Therefore, the conflict in any political party in this country should be a concern for all, including the judiciary of the country. Because if there is instability in any political party, that will undermine the democracy that we are all yearning for, and our country will not be at the level of which we have been considered over the years. The review of this administration of electoral justice in Sierra Leone, challenges and opportunities for reforms, I hereby encourage each and every sector that has been mentioned in that report to consider implementing the recommendations that have been prescribed for them. In without excuses. The Chief Justice, Justice Desmond Babatunde Edwards, first talked about what in the judiciary sector make up of this report and what in the inside the report. We are happy to receive this report. Even before this report was done, um, all the reports had been made. And because of those reports, we've had several changes insofar as this electoral cycle is concerned. For instance, now we have the electoral petition rules 2022. We also have the Public Elections Act 2022. And there are also other reforms that have been, as I speak, I've already done the constitutional instrument, which is, should be presented on the setting up of the petitions and um, electoral offenses court. So all that is in preparation for the 2023 elections. We are going to delve into this booklet to see areas where we will need to do reform. Plenty of time people in the risk concern about how election case them can delay in a court. And as some of the areas in this report they look inside and try for address. We make inside statements for sake of that area day. The Chief Justice, Justice Desmond Mabatunde Edwards, being get this for say. There has been mention about the speed in which these matters are completed. That issue about speed, insofar as electoral justice is concerned, is a matter which involves two sides. The one side will want the matter to be thrown out of court as speedily as possible. You see four months. It is in all the books, four months. That is what is there. But the position of the judiciary to date is that it is a direct provision. It cannot be mandatory. Just fancy somebody brings a petition. The person brings a petition, we are handling the petition. It's not like we did not handle the It comes within time. If it's seven days, you come within seven days. If it's 21 days, it comes within 21 days. And the court is sitting on the matter. But then in the court in sitting on the matter, there are objections from the other side. Shouldn't the court listen to the, those objections? At times in the process, of listening to those objections, time would run. Time would be lost. Four months out. And then they come after the four months, they quote the provision. Oh, this provision says four months. Who loses? Is it not the petitioner? They came to the court on time. We cannot throw that petitioner out. So as a result of that, we say that provision is direct. In other words, it shows that you want you to uh, uh, proceed with uh, uh, in, in an expeditious way but that does not mean that that person should be thrown out so we have to go to the end of the matter and if it takes six months or nine months to do that for god's sake allow the judiciary to do its work the chief justice justice desmond babatunde edwards end up as your salon people say the judiciary will continue for play their own part when i forgive justice to salon people before and after the 2023 election. For the Society for Radio Democracy, me, na Cheng Jalo. The report. Well, that na report from Cheng Jalo for SICA, the Center for Accountability and Rule of Law, CAL, the review of the administration of electoral justice in Sierra Leone, challenges and opportunities for reforms, where this report 
go talk about the thing that we governments they do for address electoral challenge them na saloon. The program na good morning saloon we go for short break we can continue the program. Commercial. Salon Commercial Bank don't come with new banking products them for make life easy. With Million Online Bank and Million Mobile App, you can able for you Salon Link money transfer for send money to anybody in like you not get bank account. Transfer or receive money na the same bank or any other bank. Transfer money to person or office in like you not get your account number. Buy extra light, pay other bill them, and now get advanced salary. You don't need for worry again, but almost money then you earn. Because you can able for pay for things the way you buy in a supermarket and other shop them with the quick response code payment. Your bad don't done for we boss man them. With we learn online direct, you can upload salary, pay all your supplier them, sell forex to Salon Commercial Bank and watch your account anytime. If you need the app, download them from Google Play Store or any Apple Store or go on Salon Commercial Bank website www.slcb.com. Sierra Leone Commercial Bank. Delivering God. Three minutes after eight and the time from the studio clock. The program is still listening to now. Good morning, Salon. We come to you from 98.1 FM. We continue with the program and come back to the studio guests. We be done the tell we but waiting and waiting. SLRS said on the do for ensure say they uh, make sanity day na the road. And we get the deputy director na the studio this morning for SLRS we na James Bagibio. They are the tell people them waiting and waiting. SLRS said on the do as Salon day. Join other country them now the world right now for member the one then will be don't die from road accidents them because then declare this um 14th to the 20th of November every year as road safety week. So now let we talk about the road safety week itself. How um how it come about? Um this is something we be done they happen um before this time this particular year marks the 26th. Um, yeah, would we'll observe this week for people who already die by road accident. Not to salon no more. It, it, it happen globally. They get me. Um, salon self don't they join hand for doing thing them. So whenever it happen, we can declare a week of activity or event we are in. It can begin with a statement from the supervising minister or the minister of transport and aviation. We are in. It will make a statement. After in statement, we can engage the different 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 media house then and begin tell them the good thing they will they only do in the safety area and what thing we intend for do. So this year um, observation, uh, we get boku boku activities that will they do starting from the 14th to the 20th. Um, the 14th, the minister will make a statement. After in statement, um, we begin engage different different radio stations then. My colleagues and we don't go na SFBC, some don't go na um, AYV today, some don't go na other radio stations them. We don't they go to engage the public. After that day, um, on Friday we get forget a Juma prayer, na Kennedy mocks. We are in with a remember the one where they don't die in prayer. Wherever then they may God give them good road. On Saturday, we they go na PMB, outside that incident be happen, that tanker. We they go with interreligious people, then we they go observe a prayer back for them people that would be died that day, the 5th of November last year. And Sunday, we get forget Memorial Mass, na Bishop Buffman Church, na UMC, na Brookfist, na ya. And that will come to the end of this particular week, and we will observe them. And we get forget. Um, Waiting a call, um, <coughs> in events, all of events, them we go follow that day. In, in all of this, you don't make mention of prayers for the one them we don't lost in life through a road crash. And uh, when they observe and pray for people and we don't die through road accidents, what do you know they do as an authority where they in charge of road safety during this week for ensure say. The life them not continue for loss now then roads there so in terms of policy and law. So before I answer that your question, make a give statistics of victims that were really involved into a road crash from January to September. We get nine thousand six hundred and twenty three victims that were really involved into a road crash. Inside this nine thousand six hundred and twenty three, we get five thousand five hundred and seventy eight when a slightly injury people there. 
they will get 3,820 people there when I serious injury people there. Then the fatality now 225 people then don't die by road accident this particular year from January to um, September. So the fatality, we decide for do an analysis, we get for do it once you give a breakdown how it come about. By sex, we get 95 men that wouldn't die. Woman then will get 113. Why woman then boku? Research should say most of the accidents that would happen now um, and uh, as a result of overloading of people that already go for go do business. So during this course, drivers and keep overloading people where they come all Luma or they move from one town to another. As a result of that, then they, they cause accident. SLRS don't try for put some measures in place. We all know say safety is very, 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 very capital intensive for make you undertaken. Before this year, we not be the do anything there, but we don't realize say being that now we mandate for ensure say people then safe for them they use the road. We for ensure say people then safe. So starting this um, the coming month in December, we we'll start for the highway patrol. Meaning we don't identify the main highway corridors and we say accident they happen, we call them the black spots. Meaning we don't do study, we don't do research, we don't identify the areas and we say then accident they happen. So we don't get good philanthropies then in this country where some don't help we for provide bikes. Shalima, we they bring bikes in this country, don't help we with motorbikes. We get for the use motorbikes then for the do highway patrol. We already don't the SLRA, SL, Sierra Leone Road Authority, when I SLRA, don't give we the office we then get one of the structure we then get at my 91. We get for the users facility with a station with two in vehicles and they. We also don't roll out, we don't reactivate we toll free line. We get for the out to the public. So whenever accident happen, people then go reach out to we with the number now 844. People will call we. We go 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 remove them or to at the road. So the my 91, it will commence at any time. We don't put all things in place. The operation go begin. We get for the manage we highways then. Secondly, we don't introduce an ultra modern fitness center. We all know say before this time or the law say before they renew you license your motor car or before they register your vehicle, you get for go time for make we ascertain whether this vehicle good for the road or not before this time i want to be sincere we will be the doing but the system will be get it not be that kind of robust but with the uh, coming of auto spec for some of now we don't go now with office where they go now the provinces is them when the cc we get a facility in my six we go we will go commence in in the coming month right in before we license vic motor car now or possibly you go for go renew motor car license we get for do vehicle fitness with a test the vehicle thoroughly it's been diagnosed for me we check whether the motor car in suspension good whether the motor car in chassis good whether the motor car in headlight good whether the motor car in carbon emission okay we get for check all in then i believe say for make a country move goes on side we get for start on side no. and at that SLRS they want to do in the coming month now you make mention of sports them way accidents can happen of mm -hmm. course uh, popular sports them they even at the highway mm -hmm. we the record one of the highest uh, number of accidents them in the country especially like um, my uh, mashaka to my 91 this area and also we get the ss curve that's kabbalah road and also you get the mckinney highway then Yenkesa ends then. These are places where accidents frequently they happen during this week and then mapping and what they do. What do they do about them places here? Especially we no get road sign and the SS call for in particular. Okay, the study we will do, we not only do one for one area, we do one by region. We already don't identify. Let me tell you, say the black spot, meaning all the inside that we don't call, so now side and this will no say accident they happen frequently. But for now, now my 91, we don't get space. We they move go in other area then from um, Makini to Kabala, from Berry Bridge to Makini. We don't identify all the areas then. But for now, we won't begin na my 91 because na day we don't get outlet. We go go na the other areas then as we move along, small, small.
So in terms of safety and observance of the week itself, on a road safety week, we then declare, um, who are the victims of road accidents and stand in all of this? So now make we say the team for this year and our justice. Um, we realize, say, like most of them, they follow social media when accidents they happen, instead of people then for me, then go save life and property, then instead of thief and the good thief people then. We don't sit down the boku boku in a salon we see the people then go go and the thief people and property and at the end of the day these people then they then they get justice we they see say them property then they go lost some and at the end of the day most of them people then wait and they um involve into this road accident or road crash some of them are breadwinners of their families so this then can make some of the time the poverty in a salon don't the boku so waiting we don't decide for doing an slrsa we didn't talk with some of the insurance company then. We don't engage in with me, new boss. We, we don't meet with them. We won't put a phone aside. A money we will get for the deduct from the insurance people then. Where this money, at the end of the day, we get for the gift of people that were involved into accident. Because SLRS is at a point in time, we will only take responsibility of a particular people where they involve involved into accident, where they um, lost them people then, now orphans then. But we not go continue because we don't see say, most of these insurance people then they need to give back to accident victim then. So we want for the advocate for them. So we don't begin engage the leadership now the uh, Sierra Insurance Company for make we able for set some fun aside for people that they can involve into accident. Because that brings me to the next question. Say we wanna they observe the road safety week. We like they basically for ensure say on a member the one that we don't die from road accident. How on can incorporate the families where some of them people are left behind because at times so when accidents here can be, some man can say motka we even insured, but then family not even know how to claim that insurance there at the end of the day where the person don't die. So how they incorporate the one they where they left behind? Just like where I say, it not be the happen and like if you talk about insurance, when you go to the insurance people, then get a young way how they do the insurance. Like most of these people, the insurance so they can go take a third party at the end of the day, maybe if you involve into accident, the insurance company not going for do anything. But however, most of the accident victims then then just we don't they left them just like that. So we in a SLRA say we just don't feel say enough fear it gets me. Eh? Because if we your man did not for insure say people then wouldn't they use the road then for safe at the same time if they involve into accidents, we get for fair way, make we make a provision for them. At the end of the day, they don't go feel that pain when they don't lost their loved one then. Because we all know say sometimes when you lost your loved one, at the end of the day, for make you get support from extra people then, it's not easy. So what is the importance of the insurance with the drivers then they take, as you say, in a third party after which they're not going to claim any benefit of them? Like when the insurance people then, then get their own way, how they go about their own process, then get a premium, right? It's very expensive, like in case of anything, then go able for pay you compensation for the property where you lost. The third party, a small money, they can go pay something 100,000, something 90,000. At the end of the day, if you get accident over the years, I don't see the people need to make any claim for them to them. Okay, continue for stay with me inside the program. In name na James Baggy Bio, in the deputy executive director at the Salon Road Safety Authority. They are the talk about road safety week with SLRSC and then partners them they observe the program. Now good morning in the salon. If they come to you from ninety eight point one FM, we'll go for a short break, we can continue the program. UTB, Union Trust Bank, the game changer don't come. As we the lead, others they follow. And just with your mobile phone, you will transfer and receive money with ease, speed, and safety. UTV don't make it possible for collect money in an ATM machine without the ATM card. Now that we call Cardless ATM. You, the UTV customer, go send money to anybody and deposit and collect the money in any UTV ATM panel without any ATM card. All it can do now for just enter the reference code and collect the money. The UTB copper in safe day. With this UTB copper, any UTB customer can transfer copper with a mobile phone to anybody up to 5 billion units. And with the reference code, the person can go to any UTB branch and collect the copper. Union Trust Bank, we there for you. 
Welcome back from the break. The program Good Morning Salon they continue. We look at more issues inside the program. We look at the issue inside President Biose, government to work now for develop more policy to them. We go make investors then come now the country and give more opportunities to salon people. We talk this inside we able to pull the three day national youth employment and entrepreneurship fair and do with the theme be inspired and take ownership of your future career. Where the Office of the Vice President, together with Ministry of Youth Affairs and other partners, them support young people them for get this engagement. You know, Kabia get more on this. Ego reports. Employment opportunity for young people now one of the main challenge them we salon the face as a nation and human capacity development for job creation and opportunity now one of government's priority area them. Now for sake of this make government through the office of the vice president, ministry of youth affairs, ministry of labor and other partner them don't start the first national youth employment and entrepreneurship fair for over 500 university graduates them and young entrepreneur them. And this form now for make the able learn new skill, meet with the employer, and also make connection and create opportunity for themselves. Dr. Mohamed Jule Jalo, now the vice president, been talk about the importance of the national youth employment and entrepreneurship fear. This fear is conceived as part of His Excellency's human capital development agenda. It is designed to invest in the young people of Sierra Leone to unleash their potential to access jobs. We see this event as an occasion to bring job seekers and young entrepreneurs to connect with employers and experienced entrepreneurs and establish beneficial relationships that may support their future career prospects. Your Excellency, this event is part of your agenda for the young people of this country. His Excellency, this event has got three main components. The first component is the meet the employers component. This is an opportunity for the young graduates to interact with professionals, with potential job seekers. You have a second component, that is the capacity building component and the entrepreneurship component. We immediately talk, the Minister of Youth Affairs Mohamed Oman Bangura being called on young people not for blame government or anybody for their situation but for work hard and change their story. When young people decide just to relax, they put the blame on government. When family fail, they always put the blame on society, put the blame on government. Ever since I'm alive, before becoming a minister, I'm not ever known no minister in the month. I'm not a brand. I'm not a born SAPP young man. I'm not a SAPP by that. I'm not a SAPP by ideology. A trained and qualified student from the JJ Safar School of Politics. In the JJ Safar School of Politics, my mom will believe say, no can bug me, go get the solution. No can come, go get the solution. No get excuse, go find the solution and go for anything you want. Honorable Rosemary Bambazi, now the Minister of Youth and Culture in Rwanda, say this program should say governments they work with young people for talk on the different issues them. This is a testimony that Sierra Leone puts young people on the table for discussion, not the menu. And our president already says that young people, you should not be the menu, but you should be on the table. And being here today means a lot. It shows that you are on the table, on the high table, discussing with excellencies. But you're not the menu, but you are on the table discussing your matters. And your involvement is very key. We want to see you taking this opportunity, taking uh, this moment. It is for you to do much better and always think about what can I do for my country rather than what my country should do for me. Because you're part of this country. On behalf of the government of Rwanda, Building on existing bilateral relations, we pledge our support, partnership towards this noble cause. We immediately talk for sake of the development partner them. The World Bank country manager, Abdul Moongi, say, as government no able to provide employment for all the young people, and believe, say, the private sector for partner with governments. First is to ask ourselves a question, those of us here in this room, what have you done to help a young person in your capacity? Besides being a government official or a diplomat, look at yourself and say, have you given somebody a chance? Yeah. To the private sector, let me begin with the commercial banks. Right now, 
the national financial inclusion, the second strategy has just been launched. In that, we have opportunities for creating opportunities for young men and women through loans, access, and so on. I want to turn to the youth now. The number one thing is that you have to believe in yourself and you have to challenge yourself. But that will require that you persevere as an individual. Don't blame all your parents, don't blame the government. Ask yourself, what am I trying to do to better myself? Inside in your talk for Seka, the Youth Employment and Entrepreneurship Fair, where in the pool Nado, the President Julius Madabio say this fair go serve as platform for bring together stakeholders them. We go talk on issues them, where they among young people them. This fair not only connects young people to opportunities, it also provides a platform for engaging all stakeholders about designing a cohesive, integrated and sustainable job creation strategy. Since 2018 to date, 24 manufacturing factories producing food, beverages, toiletries and more have hired thousands of young people like you. Word processing, furniture, plastics, metal works factories have hired yet thousands more. With capital development investments and job creation, it also puts young people directly in touch with potential employers who are all here today in this room. The president continues to say, government, they work now for gets policy. We go promote investments for make the marketplace free for business and give work opportunity to salon people. We are working to further upgrade policies that promote investment and make the, in, the industrial, agriculture, trade and market spaces even more conducive for businesses and for creating more job opportunities in this country. This is in tandem with favorable labor regulations and wage reforms that will be presented to Parliament, as you heard the Minister say, very, very soon. On the supply side, our investment in basic education, technical and vocational education, upskilling and reskilling schemes, and lifelong learning have been globally acknowledged as charming for sustainable long-term national development. These investments by my government and with the support of our development partners are equipping our young people with the skill sets they need and require to be employable. President Bill end up call on young people in where they part of the National Youth Employment and Entrepreneurship Fair for make good use of the different skill and idea them and use them for fair work for themselves, where this is say go better than self and society. And the National Youth Employment and Entrepreneurship Fair, they continue November 16 and 17 this year for Radio Democracy, Yenokabia the report. Alright, the program Good Morning Salon, they continue from that report, the Osai young people and they now not been to manage the land defense in them way camp uh, um career opportunities for go learn how for do C V and all of that. Now been to man we come back now the studio and come to his studio guest. We na James Baggy B O Idea this morning and the deputy director of S L I S A. They talk about the road safety week and waiting and waiting S L I S A don't they do for ensure say them promote um sanity na the road. Um come back to you. You don't talk about the lined events them where S L I S A don't do for Seka the road safety week. But um, as we they observe the week, it go done on the twentieth of this month, and you don't talk about the events them. But how this week important? Because other countries them at the wall as well. They observe the week we on the raise awareness about road safety. But what make it important for observe the week? Um, this week a really important to we because we in the agency we get the statutory mandate for ensure say people then save. And inside this week, we can kind of update um, the public about the things and what we don't they do over the years or, or the month or, or the year or day. And during this time, we can kind of tell the public about the policies, the things that we don't put in place for help for mitigate um, accident at the country. Just like how they say, um, we don't put some measures in place. We don't go say accident totally, we go able for stop and we go only able for mitigate them. As we move along, so with the coming of auto spare, because me to me, your um, observation, I realize uh, 
most of the reason or within the cause of accident as alone you now because of most of the motorcar then they're not good for the road and before this time the um system will be get will be the use for lighting motorcar then not be really robust and not able for capture everything but with the new system mode they get this ultra modern fitness um system mode we they get there is no way you can able for bypass the system because the system will even allow you for move from one stage to an order without fulfilling the, the criteria we meant for the first stage. So I believe say um, with this particular move they take, SLRSA, through the support of we supervise the ministry, we are Ministry of Transport and Evasion, I believe say we go able for help for reduce the accidents more than salon. Because if not all can attest to me, we get some vehicles and really they're not really good for the road. So if we talk about government one um, make the um, free quality education be successful invest into picking there, then we road get for be safe. For example, we see what thing happen at his station like months ago, we are in a motorcar run into a school we nearly killed people there. Just because this vehicle, some of these vehicles then they're not good for the road. So if salon we get for say we really want for like um accept change, then we get for start on side. And I really say in Ayanda we get for start. Because for any time where accident happen, most of the blame people they shift onto SLRSA. Raising the question where people then can ask, how they license them we couldn't, how they go about them. Would they see the vehicles that they don't water key? Some of these vehicles we they're not really good for the road, then then brakes and system they're not good. But with the coming of auto spec, I don't believe say there is any way now person I can challenge anybody. There is no way you can able for license motor car on a salon. If you're not gonna with different, different, different office then then go examine the motor car thoroughly. Because before this time, um then just be the gonna want do the um physical examination manually. We know we get no um technological thing that we go for detecting thing then. What I believe say for make any country go before there is always a stepping stone i believe say na day we don't reach now so mutka then they will get issue and then break system or then get system with malfunction with some countries then don't ban and some countries then get a policy that we mutka don't pass 10 years in the coming again whose policy we salute get for regulates vehicles and we don't get mechanical problem from factories away some countries they don't ban and how long would Kafo take before it come na salon? Okay. Through we um supervising ministry, when a minister of transport and evasion, we be don't do a policy on that day. We believe say within leadership, it get for engage in national revenue authority for make them discuss further about this vehicle age limit because also na, also another big problem to we um accident in this country because most of them vehicles already can have how on article bring 1998 motor car 1999 motor car so most of them not even good for the road so we believe say we supervise the ministry don't they work on that document and we believe say um then go we'll come to an agreement then with nra and also for vehicles and what they get for the kinds of this country with auto spec at the inception at the port if they realize say the motor car in chache we don't get problem and anything we don't wrong with the motor car on that carrier there is no way we get for allow the motor car to enter salon again so the registration process always it is start now uh water key we say we can examine the vehicle then we get a temporary vehicle license so if motor car can on a salon what we feel say you know really road worthy then there is no way we feel say we vehicle examiner then go, go ahead and examine that vehicle and get an TVR for making car up that turn. Okay, continue for stay with you inside the program. James Baggy Bill, Deputy Executive Director, Salon Roads Safety Authority. They inside the program, they talk about road safety week. We then they observe the program. Good morning, Salon. They continue. We we'll go for a short break. <laughs> Local commercial bank, na the leader dem pa bank business.
Now you that. Then go LB for do any transaction we want for do. Just like we can do am not buy. Now that make if fine forget the bank of John as your neighbor with Rocker Commercial Bank Agency Banking. You bank now you neighbor. But this confused me, boo. Look where Uncle Nat in wall solid. Look him block the way them beach for him. Where they safe solid. And at the same amount of cement and sand sand that they use for beach me on. But look what in the happen. Me wall down for them. All the block they all don't scatter. It all like some kind of magic they behind this. You want to know the magic behind this? Now the superior quality. Extra strong, extra life, and extra yield cement where are they use. And that's not Dangote. 3x Portland limestone cement. Dangote cement, na the highest grade cement in the country. When a 42.5 R grade cement, when a one day come na this country. And a one of the highest grade pan cement, where you go get na the wall. Where you want your concrete, wall, and block solid, use Dangote 42.5 R cement, you no go regret them. Parliament is hungry for make the Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment Act 2021 turn law and be Gender Equality and Women's Act 2021 for reduce inequality between women and men in the salon. The Minister of Gender and Children's Affairs, we Namati Tarawali, say then we work with development partners for implement the thing them with the inside this law so that they will benefit the women. Them. For more on this, Musa Kamara go reports. Member them of Parliament Tuesday, November 15 this year. Don't grieve for the Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment Bill 2021 for turn to law. We we'll say the short title of this bill. Don't change from the Gender Empowerment Act 2021 to Gender Equality and Women's Act 2021 for address the inequality challenge between women and man them and serve give more power to women them for occupy major positions them reduce the challenge them where they don't they get now workplace book learning and other sector them campaign for good governance now one of the organization them where don't they work with different women group them for CCA this bill turned to law and the executive director campaign for good governance Marcela Samba CC been then at the well of parliament where them pass this bill today my heart full with joy I glad it too much you know today is a historic day for women in a salon and not just be historic day it's revolutionary and we want for thank all the one that we make her happen we are so happy that the political will for make this happen for lady gender equality and women's empowerment bill pass into law it come up from the highest authority when the president and then the fifth parliament self don't come pass them into law it good for let any society realize say for that country for developing you know, for less women than being and uh, that's that law they don't do today we're so glad in a campaign for good governance because a 20 year campaign don't come to reality before them pass this bill into law parliament make major change them inside this bill we said them been pulled come out the 30 percent quota and safe seats for women them but what in marcella samba cc and the campaign for good governance make up of this so the parliament of salon say the public elections act 2022 we don't be a preceding law they're not going to enact any law where they contradict that law then. so that for every three we have one woman is still stand for elective positions so what do we need now now for make law we will cater for women them in appointive and other decision making positions and for us for other things them in relation to access to finance what in pleasing now this bill more or this law as you say we are very happy about this law 
Now, law will stand on decision making across the board for get at least thirty percent representation for women. Then, and also it cuts commot all them things that will be the stifle the progress of women. What we can call gender mainstreaming. It don't mainstream gender across the board. And you see, simple thing them woman by we make up. Now we they get belly. Now we they pregnant. Side and they will place them their employment where they say where you get belay, then for then they sack you. The practice now then they sack you. This law now don't make sure say that woman then they will then they not work, then get security and then guarantee because it's natural. They get pregnant, then supposed to get equal pay, discrimination or get for the Manti Tarwali, now the minister of gender and children's affairs. I'm excited. I really, really glad this thing don't take 13 months, over a year for let pass. So it's been a long, long journey. So we saw day right now, where it don't pass now, it don't become law. I am really, really pleased. But really, as it don't pass now, don't turn law, and now the work don't begin for make sure say we implement them and we start to see the benefits. How, how are we open implement them? Because not to just for pass law, plenty laws then day, but the implementation a challenge how this one will be different to be honest with you we don't begin implement some parts then of them we don't begin do gender mainstreaming we don't already they work with the ministry of finance for ensure the gender responsive budgeting we don't begin do some of the work so waiting this really they do now for just me say it is now law it is now uh, um, obligatory for we for do the work that we already don't begin to Instead, the second reading of this bill at the well of Parliament, the Honorable Member of Parliament from Falabad District, where the Honorable Lahai Mara from Constituency 042, being get concerned about this bill and being getting opinion bottom. If we are talking for women, we should leave no one behind. We want to see them taking part in chieftain's elections. We want to see them being elected as town chief. And that is where my own women in Falabad district, especially Naya Chief Dom, Del Mandubu, Kulose Radu, they are interested in. They cannot be parliamentarians. You are protecting yourselves. They cannot be directors. Mr. Speaker, they cannot be ministers. They want to be powerman chiefs. Why are you afraid? Amend the local government act. Give them space in the chieftaincy elections. Let them contest in the north. For chieftaincy, that is what you want to see. And that is where you should start. You are just protecting yourself here. 30% for educated women. You are not thinking of the women that are suffering out there. That are above 90%. Cater for all. Don't segregate. This bill is not for all the women. That is why look at the gallery, Mr. Speaker. The gallery is empty. They are not here. The women are not here. They are not representing the, the rural women. They are not representing the women from Falaba. They are only representing the educated women. This position from Honorable Lahai Mara, according to the Minister of Gender, Manti Tarwali, this bill they cater for all the women them na salon from grassroots to the top. But how? It is an inclusive bill. It covers all women, educated, rural, every woman. It's because the one key element pan the bill, we mean say it cover for all women, is the fact that he say we for a, a mainstream, we for integrate the demands of women into every sectoral policy. So Dandy in itself just show you say for every woman. So we say you they talk about land issues, it's say integrate and they. We say they talk about health issues, integrate and so we say rural women they need that support, their demands will be integrated into the legal framework. Mantitarwali a short member of parliament them and self different woman organization and woman them na salon say in ministry they implement the thing them where they insert this law so that woman them na salon go benefit for the society for radio democracy musa kamara the reports it's 41 at the time from the studio clock. We come back to the studio guest. We are now James Bagibio. I don't realize it now. People need to even take alcohol again. Now, now substance they take. So it's really challenging that area. So waiting, we be done, they do. So brewery, we get partnership with brewery. Brewery, then we don't be the help with breathalyzers. If they get to me, eh? For me, could they use and during the festive time? For check driver, then whether they okay for drive or not. If you can recall, last year, December, we be done at the different, different beach then. We got breathalyzers then. We check for the alcohol content. 
where people then get not the system. So if we realize, say, you get too much alcohol content, so what will we do normally? We will pack the motor car and use some water, you dilute the system, or we say make you go. But in the case of now where they use harm, harmful drugs, then now, where the beta lights are not able for detect huh? so we still they in touch with um brewery when our, we partner them with and they support we because we be do that and uh, drunk driving so we want to make them help we because we realize the other um um uh, uh, instrument and they wouldn't they use with them call um script tongue for check whether this person don't take a substance or not so in that particular area I not go um, tell the public say mm -hmm. we don't put measures in place. It's quite challenging in that particular area because now something we just don't begin, it not be done day of the past. So we really work on that for ensure say because I believe say for any interway driver they move a vehicle, they get past seven people they wouldn't go inside that motor car. A single mistake from that driver they cause a lot of uh, damage. Either people then go die or people then go injured. So we now SLRC say we concern about the safety of the road users. Mm -hmm. So we not go relent, we dip our engaged partners and we go continue for engage the Ministry of Health because we also, we get a road safety committee where the Ministry of Health be done from, where most of these issues and we don't discuss another committee. And we believe say, when the issues then go come up, then as health expert then, then go also able for help and provide a solution as to able, how we go able for reduce the use of drugs when driving. All right, continue for the between at the studio. We'll come back to you just now. In name is James Pagibio, and I'm the deputy director for SLRC. We they go for short, we can look at more issues. Yeah, Echo Bass, the money, not the account. Make I tell you, but Echo Bank save and win. Not to just for save, all. save and win with Echo Bank. Just save 5,000 leons or more now your Echo Bank savings account from October 2022 to April 2023 and you can win fine, fine prize then. You save no more and win big. Save 10,000 leons from now to April 2023 and qualify for the second prize raffle. That he posts yeah. You know what in the mona me? I want couple now now. But the waste them in the langa langa tin up and see don't wake in the na the bank. Na in the mona me right now. What in me go do? Ebo? So tell no go able for pay for this thing yourself. Welcome to GT Express Service. GT Express Service. Now who's one this again? This means see. We banking made simple 24 7 and 365 days a year. Any side where you see the GT Express point, just go inside. You go meet GT Bank certified agent. We go ready for attend to you with no yagba. With GT Express service, you go open account, do cash deposit, able for withdraw money, do bill payments like EDSA, check your account balance, and buy airtime like Orange and Africell Topo. Avoid that longer line and team up with in the bank for wait for you your couple. With GT Bank, we banking life change for good. GT Bank, it go better, you bank with we. Welcome back from the break. The program Good Morning Salon. They continue. We look at other issues. Osai, inside March this year, President Bayo been pulled the mobile health clinic through the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Osai, the mobile boss here, they go to the 16 districts in the country for give free medical treatment to people. Them. Well, this time, the boss in Dongo, na Kailangu, and Kono district for give free medical treatment to people with up and then district here. We made the medical superintendent for the mobile health clinic. Dr. Yebu Kabo say hypertension now one of the major sick them where they don't feel not say people can get where them boss here can go now the different districts them. Maria to Sheriff gets more on this ego reports.
the program Good Morning Salon Day continue. Apologies for that each day. The program Good Morning Salon Day continue and we still get James Baggy beyond at the studio. We're not the deputy director for SLRSA there this morning. They talk about waiting and waiting the authority don't they do for ensure say them promote safety na the road especially now we salon they join other country them na the world for member road safety week we begin from the 14th of november and go end on the 20th we say this week the theme wouldn't choose locally na justice for let justice go day for the victims them of road accidents as na the one them we don't die from road accidents then the member inside this week he also don't talk about measures then where slr said they put in place for ensure say them promote safety now they do now they wrote them as on a continue for observe this week when we get that issue the listeners and viewers on our facebook we go bring out to owner when they come back to james baggy bio we they are for talk about the road safety week so as on a the a member of the road safety week you don't talk about different events them we on the mark for sika this week but the public in general how they will be part of the road safety week in terms of the activities they will get? How do they be part of them? Um, I believe, the, based on the activities that we are doing, highlight. Um, then the, welcome for join the media engagement. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do so. Then self, then go able for contribute whatever they want to contribute. Then we go note whatever concerns and face it. Then go one for the raise for make we able for address road safety issues. In the past, we don't see the Salon Road Safety Authority they engage school picking them and raise awareness that different schools them across and even can we debate them. This year, with that activities for engage the public, especially the sector where I don't mention so because most times that they get for go school, get for cross road, when I get for teach them about road signs and other things. Um, road safety is very important, just like what they say, because if we roads are not safe, all within government with a good plan, the initiative where government gets, it will be of no use. So we get for ensure say we will and safe and also we get for um, educate to people then as to how them for use the road. Um, last year, it's rather unfortunate we come in late. We don't engage the, um, the Minister of Basic and Higher Education. For make we add road safety to the curriculum, right then with the seat and pajana paper, right then go able for offer with road signs then at a very young age, but we will not be able for meet up. But still, we think say this coming the next academic year we will continue for engage the minister for make them see reasons. You talk about uh, road safety in uh, the different school. Then this is not something where they go on in the provinces. Then we road safety people then they can go then they engage the student then then they educate them as to how for use the road and some of the important road signs then when they see when they cross the road this is something where they go on we can do one randomly we can choose school them we can go there we they engage them we they tell them about road safety issues so in terms of um preventing the accidents that maybe don't make mention earlier for say um December go for be uh, events pack full month for now because of now because now festive season in festive season now time then and the way plenty of accidents can happen because of the way how people can carry themselves now different parts in the country. So even though now go for the do the road check them for people where they listen you now or they watch now the Facebook page live, what's now the advice where you get for them in terms of self safety? Um, one thing I want to see really is that no road safety business, not all my business. It might be your brother, go or your picking or your sister, your granny. Only way way it will go and it's uh, involved into accident. So you get that right if you didn't say motor car. You see, say the driver they over speed. You get right for stopper. We get your point there. Won't I reach you? You can tell the uh, appropriate authority and say the Audi driver they drive. And all let come. So everybody get a role for play. For you, the driver, when we they use the road, if we see not to all size zebra day, even though government constraint in that particular area, they try for the zebra cross the point there, and the different, different roads then. But if you see people then, pedestrians they want cross, you get a right for slow down your vehicle and allow them to make them use the road. Because if we not prioritize the people that want to use the road, it could be a big problem. So we appeal to Sierra Leoneans then, 
let we take real safety business or be all man business. When you see drivers and do the wrong thing, you call the appropriate authority. NIMIC, uh, they tell the public now, say, in December 1st, we they roll out or we they commission, we free tow line. We will get them before this time, when I be 244. But with the new law, we go when we don't come, we wait till not come, that they only get right for getting short code them. So we be on the work on them thing, so we don't get a new short code. When I 844, the public can reach out to we. It will begin, it go day up on the 1st of December. Anything relating to road safety issue, anything relating to licensing issue, you can reach out to we. We go able to address my concerns then. This may be no good day under una supervision directly, mm -hmm. but this now we go on the partner with lines, ministry and agencies them. Mm -hmm. The issue of pedestrians movements, especially in Africa, now one way challenging as most of the slabs then are major roads them. Kisi Road, for instance, all broke and if you know what a middle will pass you go to the pedestrian way what you want to do during this week for ensure say people way they walk around them pedestrian way them stop for damage them foot them through them broken slaps them way they all over the city yeah Musa, just like i said earlier on we don't engage the leadership national road authority when i slra because we can do uh, we get a particular department we now like um, um department of um uh, ST, uh, highway engineering we now estate and highway engineering where they're responsible for identifying all the um risk area safety areas and what we say we need for address at the road we get people that they send out we mo monitor them now they can can give you feedback about side of people in the back motor car. So along the line, when we monitor they can go out for go look at things that already happen at the road, we can call SLRA. We don't engage the leadership. But we all know say um every institution then get their own administrative challenges then. Then we don't talk to we we don't see reasons say then they do some procurement process as to how they go able for fix the roads then, and as to how they go able for do then road safety concerns. Then. But this is like key key issue yes. a very key issue and also apart from then slaps them they cross over now one way people expect it for dinner busy side them we people they cross we then go interfere with motka them this area then key then very key when it comes to safety management because um if then indicators are not in the road people go find them very difficult for use the road but just like you say um it's all about engagement we don't they engage them now we see the institution, we don't engage them. Then self, we don't they see to their own challenges. Then. But we're not going to relent, we will continue for engage them because we feel say a very, very important. All right, so as we wrap up the program now, now oh. whose message you left with listeners them regarding the road safety week? Um, this week, not a week for Gladi. We get people that would on lost in our society, then replacement, then up to now will not get on it. So I want to make Sierra Leoneans then join me as we don't begin this week from Monday where the minister be done making your send your message. We self don't they engage the different different radio stations then about waiting on the happen at the road sector when it comes to safety issue. And also we go on make people then join me on Friday for make we go pray for them people then. Where they don't lost their life, not to pack gladiness. Some then be there on duty. Some then be the girlfriend and daily bread along the line. Yes. Then die by accident. So we want make sure and join me wherever then day for make we remember them people there because this is not a global event. It happen all over the world. Salon we serve with the part of the world. Now make we observe this day. So at the appeal to Sierra Leoneans there. Let we observe this week and make we continue for pray for wherever then they make their souls and rest in perfect peace. Amen. Well, now yeah, this edition of the program. Good morning, Salon Golefuna. That's now James Bagibio, the deputy director.
for SLISA being in at the program this morning. They tell on our waiting and waiting. The authority don't put in place for ensure say they promote road safety all the time and especially we salon they join other continent for member road safety week where they run from the 14th to 20th November FG year. Well, now this edition of the program will have plenty. Thank you to the production team, Michael Sambola and Alex Lawrence Kuruma produce the program. Um, DJ Keman give you technical support. Usman Kamara make on a sweet live on Facebook. Until then, Mabel Kabade say goodbye. And Musa Kamade say, have a wonderful day. <laughs>